With the approach of winter, ingenuity can no longer support the energy demands of nominal operations. Each sol could be its last, yet there's still hope for another flight, and it's still shooting new pictures on this episode of Mars Guy. This will be an update on Ingenuity's status since my report in episode 58, and it's not encouraging. But I'll show newly downlinked color images from flight 28, its most recent, which flew toward the delta with its color camera facing back toward the crash site of the back shell and parachute, which I presented in episode 56. Here's a stadium for scale. Here's the takeoff scene with the black and white nav cam. The first color image captured the four footprints left in a sand ripple. Off in the distance, you can just make out the crash site. Here's how that looked from above on flight 26. And here's Mars Guy for scale. Ingenuity has so far outlasted its original technology demonstration mission that it's reached fall in the northern hemisphere of Mars a season it was never planned to fly in. Seasonal dust is filling the skies and lowering the input on Ingenuity's solar array, while overnight temperatures are plummeting. For the past couple of weeks, the batteries haven't had enough charge to power the heaters, dropping the electronics to about minus 80 degrees Celsius every night and resetting the mission clock due to the voltage drop. Every morning, after Ingenuity warms up and charges its batteries enough to turn on its computer, it boots up out of sync with Perseverance. So now, Perseverance attempts to communicate with Ingenuity during the most likely time that it's got sufficient charge to boot up. At that point, Perseverance resets Ingenuity's clock, enabling additional activities during the day using the available power. Currently, the batteries are at about 68% charge at sunset, but they need at least 70% charge to keep things powered overnight. That's a 2% deficit, which is expected to grow to 7% by the winter solstice, after which conditions will start to improve. This is the new normal for Ingenuity, and it's dicey. If it doesn't die from the lack of power, damage from cold cycling the electronics may kill it. On Sol 449, late in the afternoon, Ingenuity snapped this color image and sent it to Perseverance. For the first time, its full shadow can be seen, providing a kind of selfie for an armless photographer. Here's a model of the helicopter to help visualize what's going on in the shadow. The image even provides a bit of science, showing the nature of the regolith, the rocks, gravel, and sand, immediately in front of the delta. This looks very different from the regolith observed by Perseverance up on the delta. The helicopter team has indicated that Ingenuity may have just enough power for another flight in the next week or so, flight number 29. They'll use it to help close the roughly 800 meter gap between the two, an important issue if they're going to continue to communicate as Perseverance makes its way up the delta.